Hey guys, Booligan here with Booligan Shooting Sports. Today, we're taking a quick look at my updated FX9 pistol. If you guys have been following the channel at all, you know that in the last couple of years, I put this thing together. Sort of the idea was to replicate the Colt SMG that the DEA used and had custom built by KAC back in the 1980s. They wanted something that they could more easily take out meth labs with. Meth labs are unfortunately volatile environments and sparks and muzzle blast tend to uh, cause them to explode. So they worked with KAC to build an integrally suppressed front end that still had iron sights and the whole thing was covered by an M16 handguard. Very, very strange gun. Always loved it. Strange guns are kind of my thing. So I kind of wanted to put together something that sort of would resemble what would happen if Colt or KAC or whomever was tasked with continuing to build a similar product line. So I started with the FX9 pistol because frankly, that's what I was able to find. I added a Shockwave Blade 2.0 pistol brace. Uh, it's not nearly as comfortable as something like um, like an SB Tactical, but these are ATF approved for this type of configuration um, and is comfortable enough in normal use. Moving up a little more, you have an MOE K grip, very small, pretty vertical, um, which works well with a short length of pulse setup like this. The FX9 has kind of a funky receiver. It's not a normal um, AR receiver or even an AR9 receiver. They built them kind of completely different which is a little bit of a pain in the butt sometimes, but overall the, the general design still works. You still use standard buffers. Um, it does have obviously a nine millimeter straight blowback style bolt carrier group. And I think it is actually proprietary to the FX9 itself, but they are out there. Uses Glock mags. This is just a 30 ish round Korean one that's in there. It works fine. Um, up front is really where things kind of get weird. Where's the barrel? It's tucked in there. There's a barrel there. This setup uses a um, about an eight inch barrel. It's actually a factory FX9 barrel. Uh, if I recall correctly, it is an eight inch barrel. Um, and the whole thing is covered with an MOE SL handguard. Uh, originally, if you may recall, you may or may not recall, this had a normal MOE handguard. So it stopped kind of right about here. Uh, actually, it stopped a little bit further back where the front sight normally would end. And I had kind of cut out a hole in the top for the front sight. I wanted to keep iron sights on this because that was a very distinctive feature of the Colt SMG that the DEA used. And I wanted to continue it on with this. Now, unfortunately, this is not integrally suppressed yet. I might, might, maybe, we'll see be building uh, a special integrally suppressed front end for this. Uh, there's a lot of things to accomplish with that. The big one is, will the thing fit underneath this handguard and will it melt the handguard? Suppressors get very, very hot and Magpul furniture is good, but I don't know how good it's gonna be. The other issue is I'm going to wanna keep the front sight post and I don't know if I'm how I'm gonna be able to do that. I have a couple of ideas but I'm not positive how I'm gonna be able to do that with an integrally suppressed barrel. But regardless, how this is, is like I said, about an eight inch barrel that's terminated in, it's supposed to be kind of like a mock suppressor, uh, but it's not, the whole thing's like very short. It was longer, but I had it trimmed down and it actually butts up against the handguard cap, which holds it in place. This front sight post, the entire front loop has been machined off and it is only attached at the rear. However, the thing is rock solid, has zero movement where it clamps onto the barrel with a uh, triple clamp with three set screws. It, it's a very solid setup and I haven't had an issue with it losing zero. Um, the question often becomes, how do you safely shoot this without shooting your fingers off? It's really not hard, just keep your hands back and you won't shoot them off. Um, the front sight kind of acts as a natural thumb stop is, you know, to, if you're going to be aggressively C clamping this um, and you do have a lip up here to keep your hands from wandering. The point being, you really have to work hard to put your hand into any sort of danger um, when shooting this. But as with all firearms, 
you should use a little bit of caution when shooting. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you some updates. I haven't done an updated video on this since I changed this front end around. I really, really like this front end setup more than the old um, standard MOE setup. This one with the extended front end and it's sort of, you know, just this nice flat continuation from the top. I think it's a really slick look and is realistically probably pretty close, obviously if that was an integrally suppressed barrel, but pretty close to what a continuation of the old DEA uh, Colt SMG would look like. You, most people haven't heard of the DEA SMG. They think of the DOE SMG, which is a completely different gun, a very cool one as well, but I really just like the random 1980s design that spit out the original and, you know, inspired this. Probably a lot less cocaine involved in my design than the one that they used to uh, design the DEA SMG, but here we go. Many thanks to my uh, patrons for obviously supporting the channel and for letting us build random things. This was obviously built years ago, kind of before um, I had a Patreon page, but still being able to kind of show you guys the interesting stuff is uh, definitely helped out by their support. So if you'd like to see more, um, you can check out the previous videos that I've done on this build. They're back on the channel and I can link them at the end of this video. And um, if you'd like to see more of this specific gun and going forward, um, I will get it out to the range and we will you know, do some drills with it and see how it goes. But until then, thanks for watching.